Hi friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm so glad to have you along with me today. I want to bring you along today for a makeover of our downstairs powder room. This is just a half bath. It's just a really small room, but it has been needing to be handled for a long time. I've wanted to redo this room for over three years and things just happen. You know how that is. It's just life. But I had the opportunity to knock this out in a couple days. And so I went ahead and did it. Well, here we are. This is the bathroom door. I don't know if you recall the barn door DIY video that we did. I will link that below for you so you can see how we put this barn door together. But here we are. This is what the downstairs bathroom looks like. I apologize for the light on this day. It was rainy and then sunny and then rainy and sunny and I just couldn't get a good light. But the ceiling definitely needs to be painted and here we have our sink and vanity, which I've already replaced once. I found this on Marketplace uh, not long after we moved in and I replaced it. This room is very small. It is only five foot long and three foot wide. You can almost touch all four walls while you're using the restroom. So it's very small and the paint that I chose, this was back in my primitive days when we first moved here. I was still kind of primitive and teetering on the modern farmhouse. And when I got started with redecorating, I kind of went farmhouse and this room stayed the primitive colors. And this is a beautiful khaki and I love this red, but this is just not my style anymore. So I'm ready to jump in and give this room a makeover. Now I couldn't decide what color to paint it. Here in Michigan, our paint and garden centers were shut down for the longest time at the beginning of the pandemic. And so we couldn't get our hands on paint. And I went one day and I just grabbed a bunch of paint. And one of those was antique white and not white paint. So I have this gallon of antique white. Now here is the back side of the door that never got painted because I knew it was going to get made over and I didn't want to paint it before I knew what I was going to do with the room. But one of those gallons of paint was antique white and I didn't know if I wanted this room bright white like the rest of the rooms or if I wanted it to be a different color. And I was just so afraid to use the antique white. And then finally, I just told myself, you know what? You're probably not going to use the antique white anywhere else in the house. Everything else is the bright white. So any improvement to this bathroom is probably a great improvement. You can see here I have a bag of my things. Now, since Grandpa went upstairs, he's using that bathroom more. And you know how the elderly are. They have difficult sleep schedules and I'm always afraid I'm going to wake him up. So I've been using this downstairs bathroom to get ready in the morning and in the evenings of before I go to bed. So I have been bringing more and more of my toiletries and things into this room and I'm trying to blend them in and I just need to do a little decluttering or maybe just um, find some organization. Now here at this sink, I want to show you this faucet was brass. It came with the sink and I got an amazing deal on this whole thing. It was a marble sink and I only paid $30 for it, but I didn't like the brass. So I went ahead and spray painted it. The trouble is that the faucets sit so close together. You have to use like a toothbrush to get in there and get everything out. And the top doesn't move now. We have a great big metal dish because we have great big dogs and we use the sink because the bowl fits in there perfect. And I like to turn the nozzle to get the bowl back out because you kind of have to spill the water to get it out. But anyway, here is the before and we're going to jump in and get started on getting this bathroom made over. I'm just going to start this off like I start off every project. I'm going to clear my space. Now, the soaps and my toiletries that I'm going to use every day, I'm just going to leave the soaps right here on the windowsill, and then my toiletries I have in this basket that I can take in and out and have them close by, but all together. 
I'm just going to strip the room of everything so I can paint and you can see my paint sample there on the wall already I was testing out the colors but I want to reuse as much as I can in the space because now that it's been three years and it was just a spur of the moment decision just I was sitting here one day I'm like oh I just want to do that bathroom today and so I don't have a budget for this and I want to use as much as I can I'm gonna take these lights down and wash them. I want to do something different with the entire light fixture. And these, what I painted before, somehow I got paint on them and I wanna get that paint off. And actually something happens when we try to clean them up later in the video. And it worked out for the best, so I'm not upset. You'll just have to stay and see what happens to the thing. I just want to be sure that all of my areas are clean and clear of dust and dirt because nothing is worse than painting and finding dust. And also, I am washing down the walls. Now, this is where the mirror goes, and unfortunately, that hole needs to stay because it provides electricity. But this light fixture is brushed oil bronze. We got a steel on it at the resale shop. It was brand new and we got it for $20. But I have this nickel paint and I have the window open and the fan on and I'm just gonna hit this a few times. Now I'm closing the door and I ended up with no fumes in the house, but I'm ready to start painting the ceiling. Now I'm using this Color Place satin pre-mixed paint from Walmart in white. Like I said, I went into Walmart It's when I could get in there and I grabbed five or six gallons of white paint. For all of my projects that are white, it's just the easiest way to go. It's a great coverage and it um, is pretty inexpensive instead of buying tons of chalk paint or other paint. So that's what I'm using on the ceiling. I don't like flat ceiling paint because we get bugs and all kinds of things, dust on the ceiling and flat paint, you just can't scrub it. So I like at least a satin, pretty much everything I put on the wall is a satin paint. Here you can see that I am now working on the walls and I'm cutting in the other paint. The other paint is going to be just the same thing. It's that gallon of antique white that I picked up and it's also in satin the color place now i want to know let me know in the comments what kind of painter are you i try to be so careful and i watch other people paint and they can do an entire room or an entire project without getting one drop on them and i am covered in it in my clothes it's in my hair it's under my fingernails everything gets paint no matter how careful i try to be I'm always full of paint. I really enjoy painting and I really get into the project, so maybe that's it. I just uh, relax and paint, but I am a messy, messy painter.
While that dries, I'm going to take the mirror along with the cabinet from behind the bathroom stool into the living room and I thought it would be a great day to put on a movie and do some painting. So that's what I'm doing. But first, you can see here there is paint on the glass of the mirror and if you spray on some vinegar and water, half and half on the glass of any surface and use a little scraper, it comes off really easy without scratching the glass the mirror or the window so I've done that and I'm gonna go ahead and get that all off and wash the mirror really well get off all the little paint crumbs that are on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and tape it off and start my painting for these things I'm using Valspar from Lowe's Wedding Mint is the color. It is a really soft cottagey country green and it is also in satin. And you'll see me here uh, picking at the paint a lot. I'm picking off bear hair. Our bear boy is now um, a, almost a year and a half. He's 105 pounds and he sheds like a St. Bernard. I can vacuum and dust five or six times a day thinking I've gotten every piece of hair gone and no I find hair everywhere and let me know in the comments do you have pets and do they shed like that I mean I don't mind we love our bear boy and um, it's okay but I find hair everywhere now I'm using a short angled brush for this and it makes it really easy to get into these crevices and get that down into the, the crevices of the mirror. And now I'm starting on the cabinet as well. Now I'm back in the bathroom applying that mint green to the bathroom vanity. And I chose this color because I I love the farmhouse colors, but I also love like the cottage farmhouse style. I would say that's more my style. I really love the cottage look as well as the farmhouse look. So this bathroom, I wanted to bring this green in and make it kind of a cottagey little place. So it's hard to see that it's green in the video itself but it is green and in the end you can see the colors a little bit better
And now while I'm waiting for that second coat to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the accessories. Like I said, I wanna reuse as absolutely many things as I can. So I'm gonna be working on the accessories and playing around with the paint and see what I can do to bring not only that farmhouse cottage look, but reuse of many of my accessories. While those things are drying, it's time to put some paint on the trim work. I'm going to use that same pre-mixed white from Walmart, the color placed in satin, for the trim and the baseboard. So the walls are antique white and the trim is just plain white. I debated for a couple moments about what color to put on the sliding door. I had the white and I had the antique white to choose from and I knew I had a lot of antique white left and since it's not one that I will use a lot I really didn't think it mattered on the back of a door that no one's really gonna see very often anyway and so I went ahead and put the antique white on the back of the door. It turned out really well. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm really surprised at the fact that with the white and the antique white, I thought there was going to be a huge difference and I thought the antique white would be like the country cream. It would be just so yellowy and I was really afraid to use it. But in the end, you can barely tell the two colors apart, the white and the antique white. So I'm very happy. now. I'm ready to put everything back in the bathroom and this shelf I just spray painted with Rust-Oleum in French cream and um, I go back before the end and I do put paint on the screws that I did put in so you really can't see the screws. I'm hanging up my giant clothespin for my towel holder. Let me know in the comments too, do you like to decorate with unique things? Like this isn't really a towel holder obviously, but I thought it was really cute and I really liked it. Now I want to tell you a story about the lights. We took acetone to the light to get the paint off and it actually took off that cream coloring and they turned out clear the shades did and so I did look at Lowe's I'm not gonna lie I did look when I started this project about buying new ones but I didn't have to here I have just a piece of old bleach drop cloth this is just a regular old drop cloth and I like to use drop cloth for projects and I'm gonna sew a curtain with this now I'm not a great seamstress my sister is an amazing seamstress and she got all the seamstress talent in our family but I do pretty good with curtains and throw pillow covers and that's about the end of my expertise but I'm gonna go ahead and make a throw pillow cover let's take a moment and look at the before picture
the new faucet is so beautiful and it swivels back and forth and there's so much room to clean in between and look at how this door turned out it almost makes me want to paint the black side this color as well I really love that it turned out like this it's a rich and creamy color Thank you. 